It is what some people wanted a child's play to be. Welcome to the horror show! To realize there is no way to run! You know, came to cry! There are noises that you like! Pinocchio's Revenge. Jiminy Crickets. The 1996 horror thriller from director Kevin S. Tenney, who also directed Night of the Demons, Witchboard, etc. The plot. Vincent Gatto, played by Louis Van Bergen, no relation in the Gatto last name. He has two O's. It's not mine. I have an A and an O. No relation, I swear. Has killed his son and buried him in a closed-off road. He would have gotten away with it, too. However, he is discovered by a passing patrolman. Now, while up for execution, Jennifer Garrick, who is his attorney, played by Rosalind Allen from Tixie and Children of the Court to the final sacrifice, brings the Pinocchio puppet Gatto buried with his son for a temporary stay. Jennifer's daughter, Zoe, takes a liking to him, but, but that is when weird accidents start to happen. One thing I loved about this movie is that there are no bad main characters. There are criminals, sure, but they are solidified as reminders of the presence of insanity in this movie. They could have easily made Jennifer's landscaping boyfriend and her nanny bad people and given the killer a motive. However, there really is no reason the people who died deserved it. Especially because, you know, they didn't. What I meant by saying that this is the kind of idea people wanted a child's play to be is that we don't ever really know for sure who the killer is. The puppet or Zoe. I am trying really hard not to spoil anything, so let us talk about some other stuff pertaining to this flick. Besides the underlining messages of this movie, there are some other positives I'd like to bring up on a more surface and technical level. The acting is solid all across the board. However, well, Zoe, played by Brittany Alice Smith, didn't act like a kid at all. In some scenes, she acted like a young adult. Too many, if you ask me. It's a nice looking film. Tons of good lighting and atmosphere. The opening literally starts the film off on a dark and stormy night. Kevin Tenney has a knack for creating great atmosphere and having likable characters as well as the actors and actresses who betray them. I do think the ending of the movie is a bit obvious and the movie makes it pretty clear, even though they try to overshadow it with other reasoning. What if I preferred it one way over the other? Actually, no, not really. The ending makes it pretty clear what's happening. But you might wonder if it is visually telling the truth or secretly leading you into a spiral of different ideas. It's a really well done movie. The gore, the effects, there is some blood, a stabbing, but nothing really worth mentioning. I won't talk about the effects in detail because I don't want to spoil anything. The effects are decent, nothing extraordinary. The motion picture soundtrack, it's alright. Again, nothing too extraordinary. Extraordinary, but I don't think it was terrible. Surely not up to par with other works by Kevin Tenney, such as Night of the Demons. You know what? I liked this film. It was a decently creepy psychological thriller. People say there are plot holes, but I didn't see any. You should definitely check this out, if not only for curiosity's sake. Overall, I give Pinocchio was a revenge. A three out of five. Jiminy Crickets! I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.